That was tough, dude. And to have him die to something that, like, that he helped me escape just felt so wrong to me. Dude, Arctic Monkeys are so good, bro. Are so good. I think people, yo, honestly, like sleep on that band a lot. My, my, another band that you people sleep on a lot too. That if you've never listened to, you need to listen to is Glass Animals. Glass Animals are really good. Um, I see a lot of people saying Juice World. Like I've talked about Juice World a million times. I personally never really spent enough time getting into his music, but I love what I did here. Mac Miller. If you read the book, obviously, if you've ever heard me talk, you know, I f with Mac Miller endlessly. One of my one of my favorite artists of all time. Honestly, one of the saddest f days when Mac Miller died. Like, honestly, one of the saddest days. Like, we'll never, ever, ever forget that feeling of coworker telling me that he had passed away. And like, I just, like, you, you know, that doesn't really happen usually for like celebrities, but there's like that one guy that like, you know, you really fuck with her or whatever, and then you find out that they died. I know that was juice for a lot of people, and I know it was like triple uh, X for other people too. But when Mac Miller died, dude, like that was a rough fuck. That was a that was that was tough, dude. And to have him die to something that like that he helped me escape just felt so wrong to me. Like when when like when I got clean, I listened to his music to stay clean, and I rode and I rode my bike listening to. Kids and Best Day Ever and Blue Side Park, obviously when it came out and you know watching movies and everything that he dropped after that. And then I remember like when he dropped Faces, I was just like, yo, this like you when you listen to Faces, like you know, there's a lot of people that will talk about how oh we didn't know like he was doing that bad, like we didn't know like he was doing that kind of shit. Like when you listen to Faces, the Faces mixtape, like you know that, that that Mac was struggling like crazy, bro. And even worse than that, like Faces, although it was like, it was him struggling so much to even stay alive, that fucking album was so good. Like Faces was so good. But anyways, yeah, like to have him like lead me away from drugs and then to see him die from fucking, from fentanyl, you know, that was the worst thing that ever happened. Like one of the worst fucking things, dude. And uh, he was he was an inspiration on a lot of people, man. He was an inspiration on, for a lot of people, and and put Pittsburgh on his back, bro. And you know, helped build the careers of a lot of other people, Schoolboy Q, and gave a lot back to Wiz and Rostrum Records, and and uh, that sucked, 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 bro. To see him to see him go like that, bro. So much time. Like yo, I don't know if you all have watched the Mac documentary, but there's like a little Mac documentary on YouTube. I think that some dude randomly put together, and it's like those are the people that I fuck with. Like when it comes to music, like Mac Miller played all his own instruments, bro. He played the piano, he played the guitar, he wrote his music. Like, like that's an artist. So when people ask me, they're like, oh, do you listen to so and so? Like, you know, what do you think of Six Nine? Like, what do you think of like this? I heavily respect like the dudes that put their entire life into the craft you know what i'm saying that put their whole life into it i mean mac was mac was special bro that was uh that was a really that was a really hard day and i think yo if anybody's in the chat that hasn't been through the entire mac miller discography and and you know heard everything from all the way from kids all you know and, and anything that came out around the time kids came out and uh, and when he when he hit the million what was it a million fans he put that mixtape tape out I can't remember the, what the name of it was now but all his projects even Macadelic like everything was everything was special everything was special that really sucked and I knew some of Max homies too bro some other dudes from Pittsburgh and you know you know supposedly he was he was just the fucking one of the dopest people man so it just. Uh, it sucks to see somebody like that go, and I still listen to his. I still listen to his music a lot, and honestly, like to hear his new shit come out and it be like just like heart wrenching, man. To hear his new music when he dropped uh, Circles, was it Circles Swimming? Were those the two the two projects? It's just hard to listen to. It's so hard to listen to somebody's last songs. It's so it's so hard to uh, to to listen to somebody's last songs and to listen to like the words that. A lot of times they say knowing that something is potentially bad around the corner. You know what I'm saying? And like you just wish that somebody from the label or one of their friends could like reach out to them and be like, you know, let's talk or, or, or what can we do to, to, to get you better? And I know a lot of times they try. I know a lot of times 
the art, you know, the friends or the label tries to, to, to help and, um, and it doesn't work, but it just always sucks to see, to see that happen, man. And Mac dying was just the worst day. RIP Mac Miller.